welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here my name is Emma I make videos I post every Sunday 8 o'clock so if you're not subscribed to my channel you should go down below and do that right now also I have an Instagram and the name is in the description box below if you can't tell I'm already wearing like a sweat sweatshirt sweater thing I got this when I was in Florida it says do something do something you can be proud of. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, do something you can be proud of. And I really like it. And I thought it was cute. And it's getting to be, to be fall. So I'm going to try to force fall to hurry up. So I'm making videos like this. I'm making the first baking video I have made in a really, really long time. I don't even remember what the last thing I baked on this channel was. But I thought that it would be fun. And it's going, going to be fall. So I thought we would make some pumpkin spice macarons. I almost spilled them. Pumpkin spice macarons. I almost spilled them. I found a like vanilla macaron recipe on the internet but then I altered it um, a couple different ways to make it you know pumpkin spicy and fall like so I'm very excited about this and we can go ahead and get started so in a clean large mixing bowl I am adding 3 fourths cups of almond flour and one cup of powdered sugar. Then I'm whisking it together and adding a half teaspoon of allspice. And whisking together again before putting it through a sieve. So I had to end up changing my mixing bowls because the silver one was the largest bowl I had and it made it a whole lot easier to sieve through all of the ingredients. Then I am taking the egg whites from two large eggs. I'm putting the egg whites into another mixing bowl and this time I have an electric mixer and I'm doing it until the egg whites form soft peaks which look like that. Then I am adding 1 fourth cup of granulated sugar until it forms stiff peaks. Like this. Next I am gradually adding the dry mixture to the egg whites and I'm folding it in. Now it's very important that you do not stir it because it can cause a lot of air bubbles or other problems so you're just going to fold the mixture with a spatula. Then I'm putting it into a piping bag ready to go onto the tray. When I pipe the macarons I try to make sure that there's at least one inch between each cookie. Before I put the tray in the oven, I like to bang it against the counter a couple times to make sure that there were no extra air bubbles in there to prevent any sort of cracking. I have the oven set to 325 and I'm going to put the macarons into the oven for about uh, 5 minutes and then turning them around once and putting them back in for another 5 minutes. For the inside bit of the macaron, I took a buttercream recipe and added allspice and pumpkin to it. So I have 1 fourth cup of unsalted butter, 1 teaspoon of milk, 1 half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, 3 fourths cup of powdered sugar, 3 teaspoons of pumpkin puree, and 1 fourth teaspoon of allspice. Now I'm just piping the filling into the macarons. And if you want to get fancy, you can put more allspice on the top. So if you like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not. Also, if you decide that you want to make macarons or anything else pumpkin spice and festive, then please be sure to DM me a picture because I'd love to see what you guys have been up to. And comment if you want to because I love reading your comments. And I think that is everything, so I will see you next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye, guys. Okay. Also, side note, it's macaron with one O, the French thing. Looks like this. Macaroon, two O's, American, made with coconut and chocolate. Just thought I would clear that up.